Yes, fucking hello, it's Chopper here. Uh, welcome to another episode of Things That Can Get Fucked. Uh, this week, Canberra traffic lights can get fucked. Uh, firstly, I want to say I like Canberra, right? I hate cities and Canberra is barely one. Uh, Canberra is one of the few cities in Australia when you can hit a kangaroo with your car just two minutes out of the CBD. If that's not exciting, I don't know what the fuck is. A lot of people say Canberra is boring, but what do you fucking want from a city? Is there some magic city out there that's all fireworks and fellatio as soon as you get outside? Or like as soon as you step out your front door, you just hear fucking <laughs> fucking bang, <laughs> fucking bang, and someone whispers, welcome to Sydney, and just clamps onto your dick. Canberra has restaurants and bars, and if that isn't enough to entertain you, then there's also a fucking lake to jump in. It's not a kid's party. They don't need to organise games and activities for people with fucking simple minds. Have a beer, have a chat, and fucking grow up. One thing that definitely is boring in Canberra is waiting at their fucking traffic lights. They all seem to be set to purgatory. I stopped at a set of traffic lights on a recent visit, and it took fucking forever. Hundreds of cars at a red light watching a completely fucking empty intersection, literally waiting for no one. If it were up to me, I'd just run the red light, but I was stuck amongst a bunch of fucking porridge brain public servants who don't know what fucking initiative is. While I was waiting, I decided to pop on a movie. Uh, even though I hadn't seen Lawrence of Arabia before, it wasn't how I wanted to spend my day. Occasionally the fucking lights would change and let a couple of people through. Sorry, is this a road or a fucking nightclub? You can let in more than a couple of people at a time, for fuck's sake. After watching the Back to the Future trilogy and several Lord of the Rings films, I forgot where I was going, what I was doing what fucking day it was. I almost forgot who I was. And then I had an idea. I needed to drive at 88 miles an hour and get hit by lightning. Um, is that to travel through time like Marty McFly? You ask. No, I would just prefer to get electrocuted and smash into a fucking wall than sit here any longer. Eventually, I just decided to get out of my car and fucking set it on fire, because life is too short to die in Canberra traffic. Uh, no wonder they have so many fucking roundabouts in Canberra, because they don't seem to know how traffic lights work. Uh, in the words of Porky Pig, traffic lights in Canberra can get figgity 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 fucked, folks. <laughs> Alright, that was the video. I hope you fucking liked it. Uh, now, before I fuck off, I've got some good news for you. I've got some shows coming up. Uh, that's right, I'm going to be in Newcastle, New South Wales on the 5th of November. Uh, then I'm sneaking up to Queensland to do some shows at the Sunshine Coast Comedy Festival uh, between November 10th and 13th. Doing a couple of shows up there. Go to Comedy Festival, uh, sunshinecoastcomedyfestival.com to fucking have a look at that and get some tickets. And then I'm going to fucking Gladstone, November 17th, Mackay, November 18th, Townsville, November 19th, and Cairns, November 20th. I'll get some fucking info and some ticket links up on my Instagram and Facebook as soon as I fucking can. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled, get some tickets, and I will fucking see you there. Mm.